Hey, this is Mitch from SB Coders, and today I'm going to show you part 9 in our iPhone SDK tutorial series. And this one's going to be about um, the UI image picker controller, or in layman's terms, an easy ways to pick images and to bring up the camera and uh, take images for your application. Um, so let's get started. Open Xcode, um, new project, view based, and just name it whatever. I'm going to name mine uh, camera test. Though I don't know if I'm actually going to demo the camera in this one because you actually do have to use on device debugging and not um, and uh, not just the simulator. But I'll show you how to do it. Um, let's clean up a little bit. All right, so let's go into our header file here. Um, we're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need a UI image picker controller. I'm just gonna name mine picker. Um, while we're at it, we're also gonna um, make our class a delegate of the UI image picker controller. You do this by extending it by UI image picker controller delegate just like that and that will add the delegate so we don't have to deal with any warnings or any of that crap those yellow warning signs that just annoy the crap out of me um, we're also going to need a IB outlet um, a UI image view and we're just going to call it image view uh, and one action is all we need for this tutorial um, oops. We're just going to name it grab image or grab pick. Uh -huh. That's all we're going to need for this. Let's go ahead and switch over here and um, implement this real quick. Um, let's go ahead and code it right now. It's a little bit ahead of time, but it, it's pretty easy. Um, we're just going to tell our image view that we set up to change its image to... Um, oh, wait. No, no, no. Never mind. Way off here. Um, we, we actually are going to wait to code this. Let's go ahead and um, uncomment our view did load. We're going to set up our picker real quick. Um, Let's say our image picker is equal to UI um, image picker controller allocate and then initialize it like we usually do for objects. We're going to say um, picker set source type and what this is is you can set it to uh, select from your photo library or take a new picture from your camera because I'm running this time on simulator, we're just going to say um, UI image picker source type photo library. So that'll let us pick from our library, which you can do in simulator. Um, we're going to say picker set allows editing to yes. And oh, my phone's going off. Uh, that should be good actually um, for this. So let's go down to grab pick and all we're going to say here is we want to present this because all a UI image picker controller is is a UI view controller. So we're just going to present it like we always would just self present model view controller picker and then yes to animated. Um, while we're here, we're also going to do a callback method so we can get the image that the user selects. And it's all this one is, is we're going to need void um, image picker controller um, did finish picking image. This one right here, let me maximize this. And go ahead and do that. Pretty much what this does is like when the user picks a picture, it's going to... Um, call this function or method um, and all we're going to want to do here is what we were doing before is um, oops image view set image 
and then the image, which is this image right here, what the user picks. And then we're also going to want to um, dismiss ourselves so the picker controller goes away, pretty much. So if we build this, we should be fine. We're going to have, oh, no, the warning went away. So we can go back into our view controller here and set this up real quick. All we're going to need is a button for our action. And UI image view. Let's make this, uh, we'll make it like that, doesn't matter. Um, You'll notice that the first time we run this, um, this is going to be completely empty view because this doesn't show up when there's nothing in it. But I mean, you should put something there if you're actually putting this in an application. But for tutorial purposes, I'm not going to get into it. Um, now we can connect things. Uh, if we go to our files owner, we can connect our image view to here and our grab pick action to this button, uh, touch up inside. So now if we build this and run it, you'll see that we just have blank, like I said, and this um, grab image button. So when we press it, our photo albums come up. We can go in here and choose a picture. I like this guy. He's got a, uh, he's got a pretty awesome face going on there. So we'll pick him. You'll see that we set, um, is editing to yes so we have these edit controls we can resize it or whatever and then when we choose it you'll see that oh it did not work so that's a problem uh, it should have put the image here let me go back and check and see why it didn't work here all right guys I figured it out uh, it's a pretty stupid mistake um, up here when we were initializing our picker also we want to do is set our uh, pickers delegate so it knows, um, so the callback functions know what to, you know, where to send it to itself. It's going to give you some uh, warning because we also didn't implement a UI navigation delegate, but it doesn't matter. You can ignore that. Um, yeah, so now if we run it uh, and we grab our image, um, and choose it you'll see that our image gets picked up right here into our image view and like if we go back and we choose this other one it resets it to the new one um, that's pretty much it that's how you grab an image I will I'm not gonna show the camera here but all I can tell you is if you change this line right here to UI image picker controller source type um, camera it'll bring up a camera for a new picture instead of choosing from your library uh, obviously I can't show that in simulator because it crashes it because uh, simulator has no camera but that's pretty much it um, until next time guys